Okay. Right, we are live. <sighs> and there's nobody here to join. Okay. There. Okay. I'm waiting because this has started off terribly. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. Right. I mean, the live is 20 seconds in and there's nobody here. Okay. Don't worry. Phoebe, I'm panicking. Don't panic. Oh, okay. Bonnie, I can see you. Okay, there's people here. Guys, I am here with Farfetch. We've had a nightmare, right? So <laughs> bear with me. This is the second time I'm live streaming. We've got, we live and we learn, okay? So, Farfetch have opened up this insane creator studio. Hold on, let me just pan you over here. Oh, this is actually what I want in my home, but um, New York does not allow for things like this, so I have to pretzel my tripod coming from my bathroom if I want a full length. But here we are. <laughs> so, I have got the run of this town today. And I have selected a number of trends and a number of pieces that work with those trends to talk to you about today. And I'm excited. Happy Friday, everybody. Um, I got off a flight last night, so uh, that's why my hair is this scraggly. Wonderful. Okay. <laughs> How is everybody? Let's see some comments. Perfect for my Friday. Hello, Marissa. OMG Fab live. I'm happy I'm off today to see this. I'm happy to see you too, Michelle. Hi, Mary. Hi, P. Okay, guys, should we get into it? Hi, Grayson. Hi from Montreal. We're worldwide. I love it. I love this for us. Okay, so also there is a special code today uh, that lasts until the 26th of March, okay? It's for new customers. If you've got any other email addresses. You know what I mean. Cassie Thorpe, capital letters, on Farfetch. Get your 10% off. Okay, I'm going to start off with Perfect Lunch Break from Charleston, South Carolina. That's on my list to go to. Malaysia, Poland, Texas. Guys, I love us. Okay, I've got a whole lighting set up here. It's fantastic. We're going to go back to my YouTube videos and you're going to be like, this isn't up to scratch. Okay, so let's start off with denim. Have you seen my denim section? And I want to start it off with J.W. Anderson. He is the man of the moment. We know this. Okay, creative director of Loewe. Loewe is having a moment. What did I say? Loewe is going to be the biggest brand of the year. I'm sticking with it. Okay. And we've got this bag. I don't know the name of it. Don't ask me. All I know is that it's kind of fabulous. Now, what I like about this is slouch. It's got a little magnetic closure right here. So it does pinch together, right? Because what don't we like? We don't like thieves, we don't like pickpockets, we don't like wandering hands. So um, I also do like the fact that it's got this nice little brown trim suede interior. But the slouch of it, this is also very light. Very light, okay? So it's not gonna weigh you down. And I do just enjoy this just little pop of hardware, right? Just a little something gives a pizzazz right if you love a denim bag you're a denim wearer or all black outfit i didn't even plan this today and it's working i just think that's just such a fun and interesting touch i know that jw anderson does bermuda sorry i'm just like in and out looking at the comments bermuda is actually on my uh holiday list i do want to visit anyway back to it so um i just i just think it's interesting they do this on the clogs I'm not a fan of the clogs, but you know me, I'm not a cloggy girl, okay? So don't expect me to love those. The bag, however, she's cute, she's casual, she's interesting, all right? Bit of intrigue. Oh, I like it. What do we think of the bag? Thoughts on the bag? Atlanta, Georgia, Georgia Peach. What do we think of the bag? Rate it from one to 10. Right, here we go. I'll give it another go there. Here we go, I'm not seeing. I'm not seeing any, any ratings. Give me your ratings. I love your cargo pants, so do I. There we go. London town, gorge bag. Heather, I hear you, I hear you. Okay, so sticking with denim, what is the biggest denim brand at the moment? Diesel, okay? <sighs> Diesel have, I've said this before, they're really cementing themselves as a high fashion brand, which we love. And, you know, they're doing all these fun shows, also inviting, like, the public to go to the shows, like, as a raffle. 
fantastic. And you know that I love my little Margot top that's got like a little turtleneck. It's beige and it's got the little diesel. Makes me feel like a superhero. Do I need that? Stop. This is metal, okay? Which I think gives it even more like pizzazz. Easy, simple, it's got a nice little bit of stretch to it. You're not gonna feel uncomfortable. And I just like the fact that it looks like denim. It's not denim, obviously, but I just think it's interesting. Again, you could do a double denim look, okay? Canadian tuxedo, as they say. Um, but you could also do it just as a pop to a look. It can be the focal point. I do really like the fact that this is metal. And now I'm sort of having a bit of a, not a crisis, but in my mind I am like, oh, should I get the metal one? And I mean, it is a duplicate, but it's a bit different. It's a bit different from my beige one, do we not think? Anyway, I enjoy this interpretation of denim. But if we want to stay true to denim, if we want to live out our, shall we say, 90s, iconic film dreams bit of clueless bit of mean girls do we not think in 2023 regina george would be in that yes shaking it left and right to missy elliott's get your wait no it's not even get your freak on past that dutch it's past that dutch through the school hallways with a tiny little tb do we not think that she would kill it i think she would okay and the comments have stopped but i honestly feel like you would you would yes Capital letters, thank you. There we go. Stunning. What a cute little set. Also, obviously, you can wear them separately. But I saw this, I saw Regina George, and I saw a moment, truly. Um, now, while we're on diesel, is this live stream an, an excuse for me to see pieces that I haven't seen in person? or pieces I've seen on Farfetch and I've been like, oh, would love to try that. Yes, it is, which is why <laughs> we've got this bag in it. The 1DR bag, I've spoken about this a number of times on the channel, you should know this. I'm assuming you do know this, come on. Cassie, come to Denver, invite me, please, I'll go. Um, right, so <laughs> here we go. Obviously, another denim version. They do do this in a number of colors. I think my favorite is they do a gold metallic. We're gonna get to the metallics, okay? But they do do a gold metallic and it is just stunning, sumptuous. There's something about patent in like a little shoulder bag that just gets me going. It gets me going, right? It fits great under the arm. Let's see the size because you know whilst I am a, oh, somebody said, is it the same denim as the jacket? It's very similar, but that's metal. This bit is metal. Actually, I should have come here so that you can see it. It's almost camouflaged inside of itself, right? So, um, let me show you what's inside because whilst I love TBE, not everybody does. Hold on. Longer strap. Fantastic. And then let's see how roomy she is inside. Oh, pocket at the front and a main pocket. And then, you know, cards authenticity card all of that lovely hold on let me just give you one more there we go this is so cute it's actually just such an easy little bag there we go make sure she's done properly somebody said it's a diesel day it is hello yeah this is nice this is nice they're doing it in so many good colors at the moment so i feel like if you like the bag wait for your color to come along because it is imminent truly I've got an assistant in the corner. Phoebe, <laughs> can you put that in there? Thank you. <laughs> I don't want to, I want to make it so that at the end of the day, you haven't got like, oh, she came here and she sod in tore up the place, you know? Um, tearing up the place metaphorically, not physically. Okay, so I want to talk about controversial item, okay? Um, because I think this one is fun. It's fun in a way that I would never wear, but... This one really surprised me. We can just sit and have a little giggle. And if this is for you, you're going to love it. If you, if this is not for you, then I completely understand. Because also, I don't have such confidence. But, business at the front. Party at the back. 
This just threw me, because I was like, oh, a Scot, fantastic. And then it was like, oh, we've taken a Scot and we've taken it to the next level. There we go, this is why project. Um, also though, two in one, versatility. <laughs> I thought we would laugh, we would laugh, and if it's your vibe, you're gonna love it. If it's not your vibe, we have a giggle. Okay, so somebody also mentioned pricing. Now I don't know the individual prices of all of these. I've not got it on here. Uh, but if I did, I would tell you. But I don't, I don't have, uh, I don't have the pricing. I'm sorry. Right. However, after this is live, I um, I'm gonna put a link in there that that should have a, a link to all of these items on one page. All right. So that should make things easy. Okay. Next up. We saw the J.W. Anderson bag. Look at this little detail. This really threw me, actually, because I think that is just cute. You know I like simple with a twist. Hence, simple with a twist. You know, a little JPG-looking bralette on top. Look at that. I really enjoyed this. Just a little something. You know what? I came out of New York. I thought, oh, I won't hear sirens as often as I do, you know, back in New York. No, they followed me here. Right, so yeah, I just thought that that is just a fun little detail. And you know me, I like interesting little details. There we go. These are uh, silver ones. So yeah, if you're a silver hardware person, go for it. Oh, just saw this as well. Hello, somebody said do this every Friday. Maybe I should. Okay, this is really cute. Okay, so this is this ganny little denim dress and look how it flares out oh my gosh right also if you're i mean this one i feel like is height dependent and also you know how much of the possibly flashing you may want to risk if you are tall because you could also undo this and wear it as like a long jacket but i just love the cut of this i think it's so girly and because it's in denim it's like a little bit unexpected you know I just think it's easy. You really don't need to do anything else with this. You've got the nice little um, lapels on the front. Do some tights, do it with a boot, no tights, boot. Boot it up. I think that's really nice. I also like the uh, sort of yellow stitching on it. Just a little bit of something. Why not? What have we got here? With tights, yes. Agreed, agreed. It's cute. Just a little flair, just a little something. Okay. Cobalt. Cobalt is a colour that is truly having a moment and so um, I have picked just a couple of pieces. I know people love these shoes so I wanted to show you them in cobalt. Loads of, I know so many, actually a few of you guys have messaged me being like oh my gosh these from Jimmy Choo. I know that it's also, you know I've been thinking about it because I'm now engaged, a very popular wedding shoe. Uh, obviously not in, in, the, in the cobalt. Ah it could be a something blue. It could be. So this um, is just, are these called the Bing? Are these the Bing? Check. Okay. Check. Okay. We're, we're getting confirmation on that. One of you might know, actually. Anyway, and I just thought that this was nice in the cobalt. Now, this is my size. So I'm just going to very quickly, out of frame, with my gross little sock, so that you don't have to deal with it. Hold on a second. Hey, there we go. There, oh, actually, would we say true to size? I would. Maybe a, maybe a half a size up. But I think that is pretty good. There we go. Don't look at that side, look at this side. Cobalt, just a peek. The thing that I like about cobalt is, it is a pop, but it feels like a less scary pop to a lot of people, right? A lot of people it's like, oh, you know what? <laughs> I've put this shoe on. And I was like, oh yes, I can just take it off when I'm done, but I do need to put my socks and my <laughs> other shoe back on. So bear with me. But um, yeah, because it's sort of a darker colour, I do feel like it is less scary as a commitment to something like a yellow, an orange, a Bottega green, something like that, right? Excuse me, I've got, I'm talking, give me a moment. This is a, um, this is a dash water, this is a sparkling water infused with wonky black currants. What makes them wonky? I don't know. But I'm into it. Hmm. Confirmation. These are the Bing. There we go. Chandler. Right. Um, 
I need a minute. I've been talking too much. Guys, reminder of, of the code, Cassie Thorpe, capital letters, 10% off, new customers, until the 26th of March, midnight. There you go. Okay, right. Shall we move on to the next trend? What shoes am I wearing? These are the Amiri Stadium Lows, right? They're like a little platform. The cargoes are frame. I love them. I honestly, to be honest with you, they came out with these in green and I'm like, do I need those? They're also coming out with them in blue soon. So that also might need to happen. Okay. Now this one, we've got, we know about the sheer trend and this is a sort of crossover of both. Now, am I suggesting you wear this with nothing underneath? No, I'm not. Okay. Though if you want to, that's your prerogative. All right. I'm not going to judge. Uh, I would probably do like a little shapewear bodysuit or something like that underneath this. But I thought that this was really interesting because sheer, we think of black, sheer, we think of that sort of thing. That's what I think of. I think of something like this, you know, oh, like a black sheer. We're going to get onto this because she is, she's a little fabulous moment. But I think I really liked this because it was the cobalt as well. And I just like the way that this shifts with the light. This is by Maison Close, and I think it's called I think it's called Blue Angel, and I mean they're not wrong. This with some heels, little bit of a moment, black bodysuit underneath. There we go. Cassie's got oh, somebody's already put that up there for me. Thank you very much. Green cargo frame looks really good. Sell them on Revolve. Well, well, fantastic. Okay, let's move on to metallics. R.I.P. Paco. Don't talk to me about it because we're losing a lot of iconic people. I'm going to shift you here because I want you to see a little bit more of the metallics. Okay, we've got a lot of accessories that I'm excited for us to go through. Let's do some bags. I love this. I love this so much. Okay. Again, I've talked to you about the Copernic swipe bag. Why is it called the swipe bag? Because it's inspired by the unlock iPhone swipe. There you go. I just love how rich and high voltage this looks. You know, it just, it looks like molten gold. It looks all of that goodness, you know? Uh, right, so this is the mini swipe. It does come in other sizes. I actually think I've got a couple of others. If I might, could you, could you show me the others? I just want to show you options. The golden egg! The golden egg! Oh, okay. So, it's got its two little zips, right, that go all the way around. And then, if we get inside, let's get this stuffing out. It's actually just quite a, quite one to weasel out. Hold on. Oh, thank you. Here we've got, they do them in loads of different, you know, options. Oh, a little, little cow print. A little faux python baby pink. But... The gold, somebody said congrats on the engagement. Thank you so much. Love that bag for an evening look. Yes. Okay, do I think they're a fleeting trend, metallic le leather? Personally, no. I think metallics, gold and silver, especially, are neutrals, right? And I think that they can be used as such. And I think that they'll always be a pop, especially for evening looks. Evening looks will always inter include metallics, in my opinion, right? So there we go, we're in. That is what we're dealing with. Let me get that tag out of the way. Ah, there you go. Okay. Little card holder, lip gloss, AirPods. She's a TBE, but there is quite a bit of room in there, right, compared to some of the bags that you know I like. Okay. <laughs> this is just... I mean, start with this outfit. Just casually walking the streets. Good evening. Afternoon. Oh, me, me with my golden egg. Whoever said golden egg, shout out to you because this is brilliant. <laughs> also, Easter's coming up. There you go. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, here's another one. This is a bit more casual one. This is Courage. And I've not really seen Courage as a bag brand, right? I usually think of them as, you know, like their sets. But high voltage metallic. This is definitely if you want something a little bit more casual. But again, metallics is a pop to an all black, I mean. Okay, this one has got little hooks for the, for the handles and all of that. 
I'm giving you options, all right? Courage. Now, you know how when I moved to New York, I left behind some bags at home so that I did not weigh down myself too much uh, with the shipment over to New York. And one of the bags that I actually really miss <laughs> is my Era Moon bag. Now this is the smallest version. So this is the mini, okay? But, so I have the larger version and I had to include this because A, she's metallic, B, she's TBE, um, and I love it and I've missed mine. So I have come here and I have <laughs> said, Farfetch team, please have me have one of these so that I can rekindle my love before I get home and actually bring mine back to New York. It's such, it's such an underrated, well, because it's not really a bag brand, it's a jewelry brand that has started doing bags, right? But I've just really liked it. Somebody said it looks like a cosmetic bag. Yes, it does, okay? Somebody else told me that it looks like a free gift with purchase. Honestly, you're not wrong, but I really like it still. Um, it's just a really great grab and go bag. Uh, Poochie. Their like most famous bag was something like this. A lot of a lot of brands do their version of this, okay? Cosmetic bag or not, I still think it's kind of cute. I like it. She's grab and go, she's easy. <sighs> Let me draw your attention. It's Studio 54, okay? Bianca Jagger enters the club, side saddle on a white stallion, okay? <laughs> Don't you love the fact that I seem to have this knowledge and I don't exactly know where it's from? But these fabulous platform Aquasuras, Aquasura honestly does some of the most comfortable platforms. I have one pair, highly recommend. And um, these are just high impact, obviously metallic. These are going to go so well with like a mini dress, but also a silk trouser peeping of the toe. Somebody says, I can already feel my ankle breaking. <laughs> we love a high platform, all right? Um, well, I do. <sighs> There's just something about them. I also like this effect, this little ribbed moment. Ooh, I want to do, I want to, I'm enjoying doing this with my nails. I'm not gonna lie to you. Nice little ankle strap, keep you strapped in so that if you do fall, your ankle at least stays on. I'm joking, I'm joking. I've done that, actually. I did twist my ankle quite severely in a pair of uh, Louboutins when I was 19. About two weeks. Two weeks, I was out of commission. <laughs> no, I was just limping everywhere. But did I learn my lesson? Not really. Okay, so, you know I love my Renee Calvillas. And these are fantastic. Mm. Okay, so you know I have the crystal ones. Look at these. They remind me of like the Bulgari Serpenti watch strap slash watch strap anyway, right? This is very watch strappy. Are we seeing? Oh yes. And it's like bendy like a watch strap. Does that make sense? <laughs> and I just love the way that this snakes up the ankle. I, I truly think if you're contemplating these shoes, they're brilliant um, because they, they're quite minimal sandals in general, right? There's not crazy things happening here. It's not bells and whistles. It's not got a crazy chunky heel or whatever, right? Like this one. This is a statement that I've just talked to you about. These are less so. And I just think th how like simple these little elements are but they give a talking point, but they don't detract too much from an outfit. And that, that is why I love these. Also, stop. Not the glitter sole. Oh, so we are, we are hitting the metallic trend from the front and the back. Stop it. Oh, what more could you want? No, these are great. Um, I've just seen that. Look at that. What a lovely little detail. Okay, these sandals now live rent free in my head. Yeah, me too. Do I need another pair? <sighs> Maybe. <laughs> Sound off in the comments. 
are they hard to walk in they're actually not they do a few heel heights i think this is one of the highest and you do feel very strapped in here right like it's you don't feel like you're sort of going to kick your foot and half of it's going to sudden you know fly off does that make sense stay with me <laughs> but um they are pretty easy to walk with i uh, walk in i will say that guys um i feel like i'm talking so fast <laughs> Oh, right, I'm stopping for a water break. Every minute, you've got to take a water break as well, right? That's when we do this. You have a sip, you have a little pretzel or whatever snack you've got close to you. Have a bite of an apple. Apple a day keeps the doctor away on all of that. Fabulous. I did want to talk about a little Y2K moment. And those are these shoes, which may trigger some people. All right, you might be like... I've had enough of these. This animal in particular has traumatized me in the 90s, early 2000s, and I can't do it again. But the little <laughs> butterfly crystal. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I thought it was just so cute that I had to I had to talk about these. These are a thong sandal which 90% of the time, I'm not entirely a fan of. What's the golden bag earlier? Coperni swipe bag, okay? Um, but I will say, because it's a lower heel height, I don't feel as triggered <laughs> because the flip-flop isn't going to be too severe. That's my theory anyway. I'm sorry. I just thought, somebody said Mariah Carey. It is Mariah Carey. <laughs> and it was also the green that, that lured me. It's giving Claire's butterfly clips. She's going back. She's, how dare you? Okay, right, I had to, I had to, I thought that they were cute, I'm sorry, it spoke to my, yes, Mariah Carey love in the 90s. Okay, what have we got? This. She's sheer and she's got crystals. This little bralette, okay, you could do it with a skirt for a little going out moment. You could do it with, you know what, I actually think I would like this best with jeans because she's very dressed, I want to show you, she's very dressed up but if you wear it with jeans it's like a casual moment so it's like oh my gosh now i really didn't try for this i didn't try for this for this drinks you know moment that we're having but here we are and she's showing up to show out you know there we go i thought it was fun this is cedra cedra we are what's it called um exploring new brands somebody said why am I doing this? I am in London. Yes, I flew here last night. But are rhinestone clothes hard to wash? Care for. So uh, definitely read the label. I did have a look at my ready to wear video that I just did about like caring for ready to wear and things like that. Um, the code, I think there's some, I think there's restricted brands as usual. Yeah, 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 yeah. But in general, the code has got restricted, the usual ones, okay? But everything, what size am I wearing in frame cargo? I'm wearing a four, go down a size. But everything in here that I'm talking about is applicable to the code, right? Code, capital letters, Cassie Thorpe, 10% off for new customers. If you're not a new customer, um, <laughs> until the 26th of March at midnight. I'm not going to get told off for that, am I? Okay, good. Um, great. Right. Is it your birthday? It's my birthday soon. Is it a fabulous moment that you're looking to dress up for? Are you wanting to bring drama, extravagance? Are you wanting to be the main character? Then do I have a dress for you? Okay, I'm sorry. In situations like this, I keep wanting to do, bah, bah, da, 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 you know, Frank. Anyway, that's just me. This, oh, nailed it, nailed it. She's giving all of the feathers and the fuss and the fabulosity. And if you do it with these shoes, this is a good pairing. Oh, should I be a stylist? No, I'm joking. <laughs> I can only dress myself, but I think this is really fun. And this is an e this is an easy way to do the sheer trend because you don't have to like commit to like, oh my gosh, I've got this sheer dress. Now, you know, it's like, how much of my underwear do I put on show? Do I need to buy a shapewear bodysuit for underneath this? All of that. I've gone through that recently. But 
I like the fact that this has its little uh, slip dress. Oh, I'm showing the back. It's got a little slip dress underneath, which takes care of that problem for you, right? So you are participating in the sheer trend, but you can also feel comfortable. I know sometimes how the sheer trend can be. Has somebody, somebody has tipped me, which is very overly kind. That is overly kind. Thank you very much. Um, that's very kind. Anyway. Um, yeah, so you can participate in the sheer trend and it doesn't feel like you're having too much on show, okay? Because I get it. There are certain parts of my body that I'm like, mm, I don't like that being out and whatever. Recently, I've been pushing my own personal boundaries, but I'm not saying it's not a struggle, okay? Because it is. And I just think that this is just drama. She is walking in to the party. Heads are turning. Oh my gosh, I want to try this on, but I don't want to be like off camera for too long and then everybody's like, it's there, the live is off. That's really cute. Oh, I'm so excited about this. I came into the room, I saw this on the side and I was like, I must, I must talk. Whilst this is not a trend that we are talking about today, I want to talk about novelty. You know, I've been talking about novelty a lot. How cute is this? It is this like acrylic, oh, look at it up close please, pearly heart from Simone Rocha. She's got a lovely little this thing, okay, so you can double up and double up, okay. Is this detachable? It is. Yes, both of these are detachable. So you can have one, you can have both, you can have none and just like hold it like a little, like a little heart. And I just think it's so elegant and cute. And then you just, I always think I'm going to break it. Hold on. That was the wrong end. I would have broken it. <laughs> there we go. It's so fun. Oh! Mm. What, what is this? This is the best purse with hand curl necklace ever. Let's crossbody her, okay? Just to see, just to see what it's like. What other, what other comments are we getting? Simone, Simone Rocha is fierce. It's so like girly which you know i don't tend to like gravitate towards like the really really pretty pretty stuff um but i do have a soft spot for some of it and this is just it's giving grown poly pocket and i love it as do i oh again i was trying to open it from the wrong end okay and again cassie well done learns no lessons that's me this is so cute oh uh this, the feather dress, and the Renee Calvilla heels. She's shutting it down, okay? She is saying, nobody's coming close to this. Also, as a bag trend, hard shell bags, and like Minot Diaz, are definitely a thing at the moment, so there we go. You might have to watch me very closely when I leave the building, <laughs> because I do very much enjoy this. Oh, this is so cute. Should I just wear it for the rest of the live stream, please? Okay. Now, I did also want to, my eyes are everywhere, and I'm like, oh. I literally said, I literally started talking about like, oh my gosh, RIP Paco, shifted the camera and then forgot what I was talking about. My gosh, come on Cassie, do your job. Right, this stunning, very iconic Paco Rabanne dress. She's another main character. Are you seeing that? The, uh, look at the shimmer of that. <gasps> oh my gosh. This is a crystal ball. Oh. I think somebody earlier, I saw a comment that was like, you need to try that on. Listen, I didn't come with the right underwear for that. So <laughs> somebody else is tipping me. Thank you so much. I, very nice of you. It's unnecessary, but very nice. Thank you. Um, this is absolutely fantastic. Yeah, I didn't come with the right underwear for this. So, and that's and that's not a show you're getting today. <laughs> I can't. I can't. This is this is what it's like when I'm filming. Half of it is just me making jokes that there's nobody else around to laugh at, and I'm like, oh, you random person you this is absolutely phenomenal it's it's heavy as well like you just look at it i want you to see it like really really close so you've got these plastic 
circles all, I don't know, would we say sewn, looped together with all of these chains? Oh my gosh. And I mean, this is so undeniably Paco, right? Like this is, you see it and you know. Wow. Can somebody write me to something where I can wear this? Actually, I mean, I could have worn this to my birthday. That, that, that should have been my excuse, shouldn't it? Uh, and alas, I did not make this decision. Okay, so that's on me. That's on me. Absolutely stunning. Let's have you positioned to the front. Yes, show yourself off. Did you, did you just see how that, I, I actually, do you want to watch it? Can you see it on the floor? Look at, look at the lights on the floor. Oh, we're having a disco in here, truly. It is a Friday night. Okay, so <laughs> now, um, these aren't necessarily part of a trend. As you can see, I've taken the um, concept of this live and I've run with it into directions that it wasn't supposed to be in, but I did want to talk about a couple of other things that have caught my eye recently. This is not new. This is this little layered Jacquemus little top. And you, you know I'm a sucker for a sodding crop top, okay? I can't help it. But this is cute. I also like the fact that the material is different. So you do get a little bit of like a contrast in textures, which I enjoy. I don't know, when I was about um, six, I think it was a day at school that you could wear whatever you wanted, because usually it was uniform. And I really wanted to wear my Britney Spears t-shirt from the concert that I have gotten. And I have gotten I really wanted to wear my Britney Spears merch t-shirt. And this to me was a revolutionary idea at the time. My mum was like, yes, you can wear it and we'll just put a long sleeve underneath. And that to me was the moment in life where I was like, oh my gosh, styling queen. And there we go. And it reminds me of that. <laughs> I think it's nice. I also really like this color. Does it come a little bit higher at the front? I think it does. <laughs> I'm loving how you slyly still have the bag on. Oops, did I accidentally take it home? I may. <laughs> I can't now because the, the Farm HD was definitely watching this. So, damn it. My, my thieving ways. My thieving ways. <laughs> I have, uh, what's it called? I've ruined it for myself. It comes up slightly at the front there. I like this. I also like it because, you know what? I've worn a brilliant outfit to be influenced by my own self today because I'm like, that looks good. That looks good with the frame cargo pants. What can I say? Okay. Also, you know I love a bodysuit. You know I also like marine sair. Little knit version. This is actually very similar to this top that I'm wearing now. Maybe that's also why I was like, ooh, that's fun. Ribbed at the front, and then this bit is not ribbed. Again, change in texture. It's also got this little marine sair band. There we go. Cassie foiled again. I foiled my plan. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> oh, um, yeah, and then it's got a little marine uh, tape at the back there. You know I me, mean? I'm a sucker for a bodysuit. What can I tell you? Okay, this is it's the cards I was dealt. Okay, that's what I like. Oh. Okay, there is another denim piece that I've missed that I wanted to talk about. I have mixed feelings about the off-white meteor bag. Do we remember it? Okay, it was a black leather bag with a load of holes cut out of it. I didn't really feel for it. I was like, okay, not, not for me, thank you. Then also, randomly, Ferragamo has come out with a new bag that's sort of similar, but it's like a bag within a bag and the outside bag has the meteor cutouts. Now that is this, that is the same concept as these jeans, but I think that these are quite cool. With just those random cutouts. No? I don't know. I feel like, you know, you know me and jeans, it's, it's a tumultuous process. Okay, so uh, it all comes down to the fit. But if you are lucky and jeans work on you, I, I, you know what, to be honest with you, I've never heard of one person that's had a great experience with jeans, right? But I think those are quite fun and interesting. They remind me of a slightly, uh, oh, look what I, look, look, look what I've been past. Just to, oh, stab me in my neck just to carry on the meteor trend. Okay, you know what? I think these are a bit too funky for me. Phoebe, what do you think? I love them. You love them? 
I think it's just my face. I think. I, I do, you, do you think I can rock it? Yeah. I'm, get, I'm being gassed up over here, okay? Um, I'm much more team the jeans. They remind me of like the Margiela jeans, you know, with the side cutouts that I was contemplating. And then my dad said, um, uh, what's it called? That they didn't look right. So he might also think the same of these. But I thought that they were kind of fun and interesting. This with the Jacquemus crop. There you go. I think it's cute. Somebody wanted to see this blue blazer. Let me show you. It is a blazer style that we all know. It's the Balmain blazer, but it's in blue cobalt leather. Leather. Leather's also having a moment. Well, le leather is always having a moment, okay? But should I put this on? I might have to sadly take off this bag, but I will be having it very close. I see your eyes, baby. <laughs> oh, okay. There we go. Okay, is this my size? We are going to find out. Just about. Oh! What? With the black outfit? Here's the thing. I always feel in two minds, dominatrix vibes, I always feel in two minds about the Bauman blazer because whilst she is a classic, I've always been like, oh my gosh, but do we see it everywhere? Like a bit too, am I just like a fatigue, eye fatigue of it? But damn it. <laughs> in the cobalt leather. She's making decisions. She's making money moves. Well, at least she looks like she does. And that's what matters. No, I'm joking. I am joking. Do I, li do I like the Louis Anagram jeans? I very much do. Very much do like them. Uh, whether or not they look good on me is another, is another thing. Yeah, they do look great with the satin trousers. It's the contrast in textures. It works, doesn't it? Damn it. Stop. I've got an idea. I've got an idea. Stay with me. This life has not ended. And I don't know if this is a good idea or not because we're going to have to keep these shoes on. But let's just do it black and blue. Okay, let's really drive it home. She really is making money moves in this outfit. And was that a tiny stumble? It may have been. You know what I'm like when I'm in shoes, when I'm trying on new shoes. Oh my gosh. Somebody said this is an older lady vibe. How very dare you, I'm about to turn 30. <laughs> I'm joking, we can laugh, we can laugh. Oh. oh, that was another little stumble there. She doesn't know where she's going. There we go, this is a vibe, isn't it? Oh, I want to try this on with another jacket. This has turned into, this is like, oh, hot trends. Also things I like. Also, let's have a quick style, shall we? I want this with a jacket. Okay. I'm pulling this from a rack that is not supposed to be for this, but you know me and a puffer. I can't be stopped. I saw a puffer, uh, what's it called? A new puffer brand today, and I was like, Jack. This is for a colder day. Oh, this jacket is so good. This jacket is by, there was one. You know what? I think I would like this even more with like a skinny trouser. I mean, it looks great with these trousers, but this, oh, I like this jacket. That puffer, I know. It's similar to the Prada one. Yeah, but it's very light. It's like very, light the, the Prada one is like a nylon one right so it's like he heavier so it's going to be um warmer so this is probably better for like a a lighter a warmer winter a warmer winter or like a spring or like an autumn oh an autumn oh i have the bings in clear pvc with colorful crystals and they go with everything yes oh somebody just said that my face card has never declined stop stop 
look, I'm just, I'm just coming. Who makes the puffer? There was one. There was one. There was one. Okay. Have a look. It is definitely more price friendly than the Prada. Oh, hold on. She can cocoon herself. She can give very much, don't talk to me energy. Okay. This is a woman of discernment. Excuse me, don't bother me, sir. I love that. <laughs> oh, I'm fully enjoying this because this is just like me dressing up, having the best time. <laughs> Those bings are really working for you. Let's give them another look. The cobalt is great as well. I have told myself, I don't know if I've told you guys, I've told myself that 2023 is my, the color of 2023 for me is blue. Hence, I'm buying a lot of blue bags. I think it was maybe because uh, we all know 2022 was a green year for me. Uh, but, so blue is my year and maybe just, that might have to happen. This puff is really nice. <laughs> oh, I love it. Shimmy that off for you. There we go. Right. I'm here clip flopping around in these shoes. These and the uh, and the Simone Russia are uh, uh, staying very close to my person. <laughs> this is too good. Oh my gosh. Okay. Out of what we have seen so far. What's everybody's fave piece? Talk to me. Who knew the nails would be pretty and practical? Who knew? <laughs> What's everybody's favorite piece that they have seen today? Talk to me. Blue bag top shelf. Ah! Just, okay. This is the bonbon bag from Jimmy Choo. Diesel, JW Handsome denim purse. It's a great one. Heart purse, puffer coat. Plum cropped. It is a plum. That's the color I was thinking of. The Paco dress. Yes. Oh, the Bowman blazer. She was an unexpected moment, that Bowman blazer, truly. Oh, the feather dress. Who was the feather dress by, actually? Let me tell you, because I don't think I told you. Where is she? I do feel semi-rude looking under the skirt. This is by Taller, T-A-L-L-E-R, Marmo, M-A-R-M-O. Ooh, laid back and fabulous. Yes, though she is not laid back. She's serving a moment and she knows it. Okay. Yes, this is the Jimmy Choo bonbon bon bag. Matching shoe and bag moment, to which my mum was like, that's what I used to do, like, you know, when I was your age, it was, I had to have a matching shoe and bag. And whilst I would not necessarily do the exact same. It's cute. It's also got a crystal, this thing, do you see? What's the pink swimsuit body? I will show you in a moment. The golden egg! I just love the golden egg. She's stealing the show, so let me just push her to the side for a moment. There we go. There's also this version. This is heavy. <laughs> this is full of crystals. Bag itself is more jewelry. Oh my gosh. Bag and shoe combo, cute. Someone spotted one p missing piece hidden in the background. Just walk out of there with the shoes on and don't look back. Just me leaving, me trying to run out of the door, even though I need a security pass to leave. Like trying. <laughs> right, Team Cobalt or Team Crystal? Tell me, sound off in the, come on. Tell me, tell, tell me the truth. Crystal. Cobalt. Crystal, cobalt, the blue is so good. Team Crystal, Team Pearl Heart. I'm with you there, Catherine. Cobalt, both. Come on, Bonnie. Both. <laughs> I love it. Oh, Crystal for sure, cobalt. Look, actually, do you want to know what? It's a bit of a tie between the two of you. I think Farfetch should send you home with some birthday gifts. Did you see that one? Hello. <laughs> okay. Right, is there anything else in the background that you want to see? And I shall show you. Let me quickly, I've told you, I want to be, I want to be nice and put everything back. Though I may be too short for this one. I am five foot, no, we made it, we made it. Okay, 
Somebody wanted to see this. Okay, so this. Oh, I was going to say, I was going to get confused. And I was like, this is a swimsuit. And I was like, but I think it would be rather inappropriate <laughs> for most pools. However, it is not a swimsuit. It is a bodysuit because it has clips. <laughs> right. This one, obviously, nipples to the wind if you'd like. Or you can do it with a black bralette. I would probably do it with a black bralette because then it's solid underneath, right? And then you have the Versace Greca print. We love Versace. Yes, we do. With a little Versace tape here. Views on Serpenti watch. I love it. It is like semi on my wish list. I really, really like it. Whoever said black and blue doesn't go together clearly needs to see a doctor. Black and blue works, okay? It's fantastic. Yeah, I think this is a fun, fun little, do you wanna know what? I'm very inspired by all black outfits because that is what I'm wearing today. But if you do a black outfit with this, with a black blazer or like a black cropped something or other, cropped blazer, cropped little like trench jacket, with just the hot pink coming through. I like it. Okay. Let me put that back. What are we thinking? What are we thinking? I love you, but I've chosen Versace. I'll let you have it. I get it. I, I truly get it. I'm a Versace girl too. <laughs> White dress. White dress. How did I not see you? Okay, this dress is very similar to the white dress I bought last year and I wore to a wedding. However, I have experience from this dress and I'll pass it on to you for this one. This is very cute. Actually, I want to take it off this. Hold on. The sirens again. We're not in New York. What are you playing at? Right. <clears throat> this is the vine. She's a fabulous little fairy. She is frolicking through the woods. I mean, no, actually, this fairy's not seen a woods. Okay, this is far too much of a bougie fairy to be in the woods, but you know what I mean. She's very swishable. She makes you want to do this. She makes you want to twirl it on the dance floor because that is what I feel like doing. <laughs> but it does have like a bit of corsetry lace up at the back. Keep that in mind. Now, one thing that's going to be great for because, yes, the sleeves are hell of a heavy and fall off my other dress. They do. But I think that is why this corsetry helps, because it starts from the top there. This is obviously a backless moment. If you're not a backless person, I get it. I've only become a backless person for one item and one item only, and you know it. The brand name of the white dress is H-A-J-E, Australian brand, right? Apart from that, I would say true to size. I believe my other one is, is, is the right size. Um, but yes, it holds it in, so you're not going to have the same issue that I had with the other one. There we go. She's cute. Somebody said, like a virgin. Come on, Madonna. I'm going to see Madonna in December. I know, I'm going with my mum. We're gonna have a great time. Um, like a prayer is my personal favorite. List your favorite Madonna song down below. If it's not like a prayer, don't answer it. No, I'm joking. <laughs> oh, I'm not saying it. Come on. Cassio got Beyonce tickets. I'm so excited for you. <laughs> You're going to have a fantastic time. Vogue, Frozen. Frozen, is this giving Frozen? Or is that a Madonna song? I don't know. Is that really embarrassing? Take a bit. Holiday, give it to me. <laughs> okay, where is the thing for this? Here it is. All right, are you going to help me? Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Once again, the code, Cassie Thorpe, capital letters, all right? Why? Because our name should always be in capital letters, because we are important. No. <laughs> Cassie Thorpe, capital letters, 10% off. Um, this lasts until the 26th of March at midnight for new customers. But if you're an existing customer and you've got another email address, I didn't tell you. Does it work for sale items? Sadly not. Full price, full price, I'm sorry. What is that silver dress? Do you mean this silver dress? Heartbag brand, Simone Rocha. Frozen is a Madonna song, I'm so sorry. I've got some work to do, okay? I know the obvious ones. This is Simone Rocha, S-I-M-O-N-E, space, R-O-C-H-A. Paco Rabanne. 
stunning. She is throwing sequins, dancing all over the floor. She's a party. Do you want to know what? This dress is not only a dress. This dress, you hang in the centre of your room. You have lights coming up at it, and it is also a disco ball. And you know that we love a two-in-one versatile piece. <laughs> There we go. Yes, heart bag is my washer. The, the puffer jacket is amazing. I can't find it on the far fetch site. Hold on. Let me show you the name again so you've got it. It should be on there. There was one. There was one. I do love this. This is a great puffer, isn't it? It's the collar. I love how big the collar is. Very light, very nice, very easy. I love that you've kept the Jimmy Choo shoes still on. Yes, the heart bag should definitely be gifted to you. Cough, cough. Wink, wink. She can't wink. So it's whatever that is. <laughs> I need a shoe with a snout. Any recommendations? Are you wanting, well, obviously you're wanting a closed toe. Are you wanting a sling bag? The snoutiest snout I own are the Mac and Mac double bow heels. That is a good snout. Denim jacket. Denim jacket, as in you liked it or you want to see one? Confirm. I'm here. Yellow dress in the back. Oh, it's not a dress. This one, it's a, it's a, it's a little sheer top with crystals. A little sheer top with crystals. She's dancing. Pink dress, please. Oh, this thing. This one, uh, I can't work out. I can't work it out if it is a dress or a top. It's a top. It's a top. <laughs> Here it is. It's like a deconstructed, it's giving me Charlotte Knowles vibes. It's by Issa Boulder. Oh, that's another emerging. There we go, right? It's a top, but to be honest with you, you could wear this with like biker shorts or something underneath. It's get, uh, this is sort of like grunge. What's that new trend everybody's liking? Grunge sleaze, sleazy grunge, something like that. It's one of them, right? Like I said, very Simone. Charlotte Knowles, that's the one. Uh, have I talked about this? This denim jacket. You know, I've recently, I've recently purchased a denim jacket. Thank God it's a top, <laughs> Ivana. <laughs> I know, well, listen, with Mew Mew, with Mew Mew and their skirts, <laughs> I mean, uh, right, what are the trends? Leanne, I know, we've gone off topic, okay? Thank you for bringing me back to, back, back to earth there. The trends were denim, cobalt, metallic, and then I threw in a couple of other pieces that I liked. The denim A-line dress is by Ganny. You need to wear that Mugler jacket more. I know, but I just got it. Give me some time. No, I love it. <laughs> um, I do need to wear it more. Uh, I wanted to try this on because it's sort of like oversized. I just wanted to see how this looks. This is Bethany Williams. Okay, yeah, this is like a very, oh yeah, she's too cool for school. She's not just casual chic. Hold on, get the hair out. This hair is annoying me. If you saw in today's video, yeah, I'm having Menti Bees over this hair, truly. It's, a, it's very annoying. See, I think like this is cool, right? It's very like, oh, you know, I don't care. I'm just like effortlessly chic like this. I'm so sorry. Um, there we go. Brian, happy to catch you live. Hello, Brian, and welcome to the live. I think I would actually like this with a skirt. If this was with a skirt and it was almost like the skirt was just a tiny bit longer, then that would be cute, no? Oh, here we go. Oh, tone. Thank you. Can we make this a weekly thing? We might have to. Who's the denim by? Bethany Williams. Bethany. Will I've just realised it's going to show you backwards, isn't it? Bethany Williams. Loved the live first time. We'll definitely be back. Guys, I think this is the end. This is the end. It's been wonderful. I know that we had a little bit of a hiccup at the beginning. And I apologise. With the scort from earlier. Yes. Excellent, excellent idea. We had a hiccup at the beginning, but I'm glad that you stayed with me. I had fun. I know my secret to my hair is to diffuse my hair. I know, but I forgot my diffuser. I'm sorry, I know. Look at it. That's what it looks like. It looks like. Guys, have a fabulous weekend. Sending you love. Go and do your favorite thing. 
and tell them and tell them that I, I sent you, okay? I'm going to update this with a far-fetch link to the items that we talked about today, all right? Have a great weekend. Mwah! Lots of love and hope, I'll do some more lives. I'll do some more lives every now and again. Bye!